What's good now YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing you another video. Today I wanted to do a little video on um, magazines, um, on magazines and things like that. For those that do not know, uh, magazine, magazine subscriptions, whether it be gaming, TV shows, whatever it is, have been around for many, many decades and always been popular for me. The two, th two of the things that I've typically been interested in, obviously, have been gaming. And oddly enough, when I was younger, TV shows, uh, uh, you know, kids shows like Nickelodeon and all that. You know, they used to have magazines. Um, I don't know if they do magazines for kids shows anymore. But, like, for example, here's, like, a, a more recent, like, Game Informer magazine, which I don't know why the corners rip. But, um, you know, this is a more recent one. Um, and here's, like, an old Nick magazine. Like, this is from... Uh, flushed away uh don't don't ask me why i grabbed that one i just randomly grabbed it but like you know these are kind of just fun magazines and i was wondering like what what you guys are interested in i have nintendo powers i have all sorts of stuff but um you know i just wanted to grab some random stuff and i wanted to see like what magazine subscriptions do you follow or do you follow any and you know what what memories do you have of those like was there any really cool image or really cool thing that you remember maybe you're you're a nintendo power fan maybe you were back maybe you watched maybe you had like magazines back in the 80s and you you used to go through those magazines and you know look up all sorts of hints for game instructions and stuff like that you wanted to get ahead in games or maybe you just like to watch like hear information about the shows and stuff that you guys were interested in like i mean some of these magazines just are really fascinating to me i just look at them and i'm just like and the night magazines are just kind of fun like you know they had like these old goofy cartoons and all that i mean like really cool you got spongebob you got all these daily fans you know all this stuff and I'm just looking at, like, the Nick one, but, like, you know, you get, you get all this gaming stuff as well. Um, I mean, and I, I know that I'm not really showing it to you very well, but you get my point, though. I mean, it's just it's just kind of cool. Like, here's the uh, Star Wars, like, you know, Disney Infinity stuff. You know, I mean, for me, I've always I've always liked this stuff. Currently, I do, I do have a subscription, but it's kind of, like, only on my... Um, for a Game Informer, but like I still remember, you know, having these kind of magazines, like the Nick magazines and stuff like that for a very long time, and um, those were really just kind of fun magazines that I used to always just look at and read and have a lot of fun um, seeing and getting a sense of things and hearing about, oh, there's this new movie or new episode of this Nickelodeon show coming out, and this was back when Nick was good. Sorry to those that are, that are currently watching Nick. I mean, look, do I watch Nick? I watched the Turtles and I watched Power Rangers. That's probably about it. Otherwise, it's like a cage. It's, it's like the rare, the rare of shows that I watch. But those are probably the only two things I'll watch. I'll watch the current uh, Nick Turtles and I'll watch the the current Power Rangers on there. But otherwise, I could care for the most part. I could care less about the current Nickelodeon shows. Um, I mean, that's just that's just a, a, ma a matter of, of choice and just my opinion. Um, for those that are that are living the that are living in the time that Nickelodeon's going on now, I understand if you watch it and that's what you enjoy. That's perfectly cool. I'm sure there's some shows that I just haven't really caught on to. But uh, you know, if you go back a good, uh, I don't even know. I think it was like maybe five or so years, maybe even less now. Um, you know, you're going to get some of the, you know, n not as bad as today's, like, shows, whether it be Nickelodeon or even Cartoon Network or, and, you know, Disney's been out of that whole entire market, or for the most part, for a while now. I mean, there's very little, uh, like, you know, cartoon or animated shows or even good sitcom-related shows, you know, like Sweet Life is Zack and Cody and all that stuff, like, that's gone. Uh, I do also have the Disney magazines a little bit, which were fun, and, uh, you know, they like all these companies definitely try to do their own thing. Cartoon Network never really did a magazine, I believe. I don't hold me to that, but I believe that's right. Um, if they did, I probably had it at some point. You know, I, I have a lot of magazines uh, on a bookshelf, and they're and the thing is that they're mixed in with a ton of books, and they're kind of in the back. So it's like if I wanted to go searching searching through it, I would probably find half of these things. But it's just like I grabbed what I could really quickly, and like these were the two things I was able to find like in a second. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just I'll just talk about that. So I just want to know, guys, like is there any magazine or anything really cool that you remember uh, reading? Uh, for me, you know, I mean, I always love looking at these magazines, you know, seeing what games were coming out, um, whether it be, like, for a game magazine, or, like, hearing about, you know, strategies and tips, or also just reading reviews and understanding, oh, is this game worth buying? Because you never know, maybe I'll want to buy it. Or for, a, a, you know, a Nick magazine, maybe 
I'm just interested in like seeing the comics, you know, seeing all the goofy stuff that they used to do. Because like there was a lot of really fun stuff back then that even though it wasn't the 90s Nick stuff, it was still pretty good. And they had like, they even had commercials for the Nick comics for a while. Um, so I would love to know in the comments below what you guys think. Was there any really, really nostalgic comic or magazine kind of idea that you really just loved and was super fun whether it be around now or whether it be one that was around maybe five ten years ago or less you know i mean i would love to know or even more i mean it could be more tell me all that below guys because I, I you know it's just kind of fun stuff and you know I, i've done like a lot of these random videos like these random videos before but i thought that this one was a, a kind of a cool one that you guys might you know be interested in and you know maybe just to reminisce a little bit and have like a little bit of a nostalgic uh vibe and trip back in time just thinking about like oh yeah that really cool moment in time like you know tell me all that below i'd love to know so um that's about it for me guys i i don't have much else to say for this video please remember to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time so bye bye